Sean Dyche has provided a team update ahead of Everton's game with Fulham this weekend. The manager was doing his pre-match press conference. Uh, obviously, was asked about the injury updates for the Blues and what we can expect the squad to be at the weekend. This is what the manager had to say. From illness, yeah. Uh, James Garner, okay. Jimmy Garner waiting on more news. Um, just a specialist view um, on a back injury, so wait on that. Um, Brozier is getting on the edge of coming into training. He's doing loads of work with the sports science team, but not yet. Um, soft start for him and then and see where that goes, but hopeful that that will continue because he's making good progress. Jimmy T's making progress, but obviously it's a, a very strange injury, um, which I just, you know, I mentioned about the tendon coming off the, the sort of big toe, very odd injury. Uh, but he is beginning to make progress, but he's still a, a number of weeks away, that's for sure. Have you got a timeline on, on Tim Rabinum as well? Uh, well, looking at weeks, certainly weeks, um, because of the, the type of injury it is to a, a bony injury, obviously. So we just kind of wait for it. Certainly, he's still in a boot, uh, boot at the moment. They don't tend to use cast now. You know, it's an actual sort of boot that protects it. Just waiting on that to heal and then, and then get back to training. But excuse me, but it is going to be um, a number of weeks still yet. There you go. Uh, Sean Dyche also gave us an update on Delhi, who obviously we were cl we thought he was going to be playing games earlier in um, September time. Really, uh, he'd been pre, pre season training, trying to earn a new contract, uh, but obviously picked up another slight injury. But he was asked about Delhi today, and this was his answer. Where's he at? The yeah, yeah, he's he's just getting back on the grass again, so building up again um, from a. You know, another minor sort of uh, injury, but unfortunately it costs him a bit more time and he's just getting on with trying to get fit. Obviously, it's There you go. Listen, who knows? Who knows whether we'll ever see Delhi in an Evans yet again? Who knows? But uh, hopefully he can get himself back fit and we'll just see what happens from there. Uh, obviously, Everton are in a good run of form at the moment. Four games without defeat now, won our last one. Uh, looking to make it back-to-back -back wins against Fulham. It is a tricky game. Normally, you know, we used to have an amazing record against Fulham at home. I think it was 22 wins on the run at Goodison before they beat us, and they've now won the last three at Goodison Park. But this is an opportunity to record back-to-back -back wins, which would be really big. It'd put us, obviously, mid-table-ish, uh, which isn't too bad considering the start we've had. The manager was asked about the potential of back-to-back -back wins and how well, uh, or sorry, how much that could do for confidence. This is what he had to say. Well, you certainly want to do that. Um, you know, full of them showing themselves more more than capable, but we're, we've suddenly found ourselves in a better um, position, not only in the league, but I mean, the way that we're going about things. People getting fit, um, truly fit, um, Premier League fit, as I talk, uh, talk about. And I think that sharpness is coming with certain performers. And we've, and we, I think we've done well over the last four games, um, played better in some than others, but found a way to get results. So what? There you go. Uh, Marco Silva has confirmed that he will be without Sasha Lukic, George Quenza and Carlos Vinicius due to injury, uh, while Timothy Castagne faces a late fitness test uh, ahead of the game. We already know that Anderson will be missing after getting sent off last week. Uh, like I say, really tricky game this for Everton. Fulham are a good side. They do carry a real attack and threat with Adama Traore, Alex Awobi, of course, Emile Smith-Rowe and Raul Jimenez. They're sort of four forward players we're going to have to defend well, and we also carry our own threats. So I think it would be a tight game. Let's wait and see what happens. But uh, there you go. You're up to date with all that team news. Make sure you check out an interview we've done with Martin Ziegler. Um, it'll be interesting. Go and give that one a watch. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.